welcome back to another Into the Breach Handyman Tool Reviews. Today, we are going to be covering the Gerber Strong Arm. Okay, it's probably one of the most over-reviewed um, bits of gear uh, on the web. I don't think it's even possible to not find a Gerber Strong Arm uh, video review on YouTube. Um, there are ju There's just so much out there. I mean, there are destruction tests. There are survival tests there are i mean people have shot the thing with a firearm to prove how indestructible it is um what we're going to do here today is um i've wanted one for a long time i know how awesome they are and i know how worthwhile they are there are comparable knives out there that someone argue is better um but i think the whole package the gerber strong arm is definitely uh, an excellent bit of kit and i think everyone should own one um you know, they are made in Portland, Oregon, all right? Made in the U.S. of A. That's really cool. Um, it comes with this really Gucci sheet, okay? You've got your mold pack adaption. You've got these uh, bits where you can feed it onto the back of your belt. You can carry it from the, the small of your back behind you. You've got your standard um, belt loops. It's very modular. It's a great sheath, okay? Um... And all in all, I mean, they retail anywhere between 100 to 125 pounds. I managed to get mine for 85. Um, and I just, I just think they're uh, a great bit of kit. And we're really going to get into it today. But what I wanted to talk a bit about first is we're going to try to consolidate um, some of the content that's out there. Talk a bit about my experience, my research, and also um, make you be uh, make you aware of the fact that this is such a popular knife, there's actually quite a lot of fakes out there as well. So we're going to get into all of that today and um, and tell you why you should own a Gerber Strong Arm. Well, let's get right into it, okay? Um, the Gerber Strong Arm is an awesome bit of kit, and I'm going to try to keep this as short and sweet but informative as possible. Because the problem with the Gerber Strong Arm is not the Gerber Strong Arm. The problem is, it is so freaking popular. This is literally, probably the most over-reviewed anything on the web. There are literally dozens of reviews of this knife. And we're going to cut to that first off. If you want a destruction test to back up what it is that I'm saying, you can check out um, Survival Lily. Okay, she's on YouTube. We're not affiliated. I'm just mentioning this. Um, Survival Lily. Uh, she's a woman who does um, uh, survival reviews on different bits of equipment, and uh, she's based out of Austria. There's also a chap named Joe X. Joe X literally destroys knives. He beats them to oblivion, okay? And that's why this knife is awesome. If you go check out his video, you can see unequivocally that what I'm telling you is the truth, okay? So it comes in this Gucci sheet, all right? It's modular. It's mole packed. You can attach it to your back of your belt. You can um, take it apart, configure it the way you want. You can also take it, it's also got your bog standard belt loop. Okay, sheath, awesome. Okay, 420 high carbon. Okay, made Portland, Oregon. This thing is literally a brick. Okay, it's got a multi composite handle. It's full tang. Okay, runs all the way through. Got your lanyard, your loop slash smasher at the end of her. All right. It's got a really robust and solid polymer on the inside and a textured rubberized polymer on the outside. The handle, this is the best knife I've ever owned. Okay, there, there is no question. It, 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 the balance, the handling, it's a lifetime knife. Now, one of the biggest things about the Gerber Strong Arm is they're so popular, there's loads of fakes out there. Okay, I'm positive there's probably some fakes on eBay. And I know from other reviews and my extensive research about the product before I bought it, that there are uh, even fakes on Amazon. So you want to make sure you're getting a gen. First off, you want to make sure you're getting a genuine box. Look it over. All right. Look for inconsistencies between that and the Gerber products. You don't want a sheet of paper. You want a proper little booklet from Gerber. Cardboard. Another one. Multi-language. Other additional information in there. There was no bubble wrap. You want to check the color, and you want to check. Uh, there's some really great videos out there about. Um, certain refinements, okay? You know, maybe the uh, the beveling or the grind on the blade, okay? And you want to make sure that you check where the writing is. The fakes haven't got the writing in the right place. They've got larger serial numbers. 
this tends to be a bit lighter, the handle tends to be a bit lighter, there's not a sheen on the sheath, there's all kinds of little giveaways, the devil's in the detail. Another reason I really like the, um, uh, the Gerber strong arm is, they, you know, that's the biggest problem I have with Gerber, okay, I love, it's a love-hate relationship in some respects, because when they do a product well, they do it really well, and when they don't do a product really well, it's painfully obvious. Um, this is one that actually tells you what it is. You can so I find it really important to know what the steel is. I bought the Gerber Versafix. I love the balance. I love the size. I love the fit, the form, the feel. I love everything about it. I even love the fact that when I'm freaking chopping into something, there's absolutely zero vibration in the handle. Okay, wicked bit of kit. Problem is though. The problem is a lot of people gripe about the sheath. I don't mind a cheap sheath. Who really cares? You know, you can always take it to a leather, leather smith, get them to make you a custom sheath if you like the knife that much. You know, there's always options, okay? I don't mind that it's made in China because I'm not a racist. But what I have an issue with is, is that this doesn't tell me anything. When I bought this, it said it was stainless steel. But, and what? Okay? What does that tell you? Nothing. This is definitely a cut above, okay? There's no question, all right? There's, there's a... It is that you pay a bit more, but you know what? I don't, I really, I'm a fan of quality, and I don't care where it comes from, but 90% of the time when the U.S. makes something, it's pretty damn good. Now, this came sharp out of the box. I've, um, I've batoned it through a few pieces of wood. Ooh, caught up there. Caught it, you know, put it through a few pieces of wood. Um, all right. No issues there whatsoever. Smooth cuts. This thing is going to take you through your entire life and then some. This is the most over-reviewed product on the planet. All right, there are literally, as I said, dozens of videos on this. Guys batoning with it. Guys living with it. People destroying it. Okay, I have done so much research about this knife, including the steel, um, including the you know the place where it's made. You know, a lot of good things come out of the U.S. and this is just another one of them. Um, it's got a really positive lockup, okay? Really nice in the sheath, right? You know, your combat tactical. This is really a good, a great all-rounder, okay? Some people might disagree with that. I think it could be, it could be utility knife for your tool bag, camping knife, survival knife, hunting knife, combat ready going to war knife. It's, uh, you know, I, I love it. It's, it's, it's one of the few things I own which all you need to do is look at it and you can sense the quality. Okay? I don't own a lot of different stuff. This is a 10 out of 10. Okay? Now, like I said, there's Survival Lily out of Austria. Okay? There is Joe X. He's also out of Austria. And they have some great videos um, where they, they, they destroy things. Specifically Joe X. He, 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 has, he stands on this. He beats a rock. He stabs it into wood. He jumps on it. I think there's even a point where he shoots it with a 9mm. Okay? He, he explains to you how awesome this is. And there are other knives out there that are certainly worth your time. But today we're talking about the Gerber Stronger. So I think, unequivocally, you can't go wrong. They range from about 100 to 125 pounds. I managed to find mine for uh, 84 with, with VAT and delivery here in the UK. And I know you can get them cheaper in the US just because everything's cheaper in the US. Not just the exchange rate, but they are made in the US. Um, I can't talk about how awesome this... I can't... I, I just... I'm so gobsmacked with how awesome it is. I'm just in awe, okay? It's just... It's wicked. It reminds me very much of... Um, although I didn't use it because of the and I wasn't combat arms. But it reminds me very much of the bayonet we were issued um, in, you know, before I went to Afghanistan, you, um, you're never going to, something you're never going to use, uh, at least in my line of work in the military, um, be able, <laughs> if I need to use a bayonet, things are getting a bit rough, uh, but anyway, it, it's just, it's immense quality, it's, it's just, it's something you would expect is, 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 it feels like special forces issue, you know, it's good gear, and Gerber doesn't always do that. But that's why I praise the strong arm and how I'm going to reserve judgment on the Versafix, okay? But anyway, I can't emphasize enough how awesome this blade is um, and the information on the box, all right? You're getting a lot of specification, you know, 420, 
high carbon American steel, fine blade, fixed, fixed blade full tang, diamond grind, corrosion resistant with ceramic coating, um, a mold compatible sheath. And you know, you there's no mystery here. It's it's all literally on the box. Um, and yeah, you can't go wrong. So if you want an all rounder, if you want a lifetime knife, if you want something that's gonna put up with the abuse that a lifetime of bushcrafting, hunting, fishing, or just around the job site, whatever the case may be, the Gerber strong arm. Alright? Excellent bit of gear. Can't go freaking wrong. Take that to the bank.